What's up, my cochinos and cochinas? I'd like to welcome you back to another mukbang, gangbang, finger bang, do your thing. Today, we're not going to talk much slang. Um, actually, we are, so I take that back. What we got going on today is something very, very special. Especial, all right? We got steak on deck made by Chef Joy R.E. Joy R.E. Um, and uh, some motherfucking... Um, some pasta, some zucchini pasta. You might be wondering if it's zucchini, it's not pasta, but you know, it's keto approved. It's a little healthier, so you know, take your fat ass to the gym and step your game up like I am. Um, and then also, we're gonna talk about the time that I had to slaughter a cow for a pretty crazy reason, how that all went down. So, you're gonna wanna stick around for that shit. Yep. I also got the Michelob Ultra on deck. There you go, homie. Check that out. Got that fucking light beer, but it's all good. Let's go ahead and crack it open and take a swig for the homies. Shout out to everybody subscribed to the channel, everybody who watches the videos. Appreciate every single one of you. Let's take a swig before we get this dinner started. <sighs> Always refreshing. Um, then also, I got the Tapatio on deck. We got the big bitch on deck. You know, we got the big tapatio. We're going to get it nice and bloody as well. So let's go ahead and do that first. I'm going to show you how the Trejo's world gets down with the hot sauce. We get it nice and bloody around here. There we go. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, cut into this and get into let me intimately involved with this steak. I'm stuttering today. Um, still got a few cubes left over in my mouth. So let's throw my speech off. But we're going to go ahead and get it. All right. So let me make it a little bit smaller. So, you know, we got kind of a, I don't want to say a lengthy story, but, you know, from the waist down, I got a lengthy story. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get into that. So I want to make sure that I take not as big bites. You know what I mean? So we cook our, uh, our steak around here pretty much like fresh off the farm. You know what I mean? Like almost halfway alive and shit. That's how we eat it. Plenty of fat, you know what I mean? Apparently fat doesn't make you fat anymore. So I'm on board with that. It's also topped with some grass-fed butter. And it's legit, all right? Let me go ahead and take a um, bite of this motherfucking zucchini pasta. It has some um, six cheese Italian, some six Italian cheese uh, blend. And then also some um, sour cream. Sour cum. Cream. Cum. Cream. Yeah, there you go. All right. Mmm. Has a little bit of a garlicky flavor to it. It's fucking delicious if you're trying to stay healthy and not get fat. If you're already fat like me, this will be a good addition to your diet. All right. Go ahead and take one more bite of this before we get to that story. Mmm. Juicy as fuck, homie. Check that out. Hell oh, yeah. Mmm. So, I just want to say thank you to everybody. We're almost to 4,000 subscribers. We're growing. We're not showers, we're growers. So, we want to keep growing. Um, and do this, you know what I mean? So, almost at 4K, that's cool. My camera quality is definitely not at 4K. I'm still at like 4G quality, but it's cool because I'm a G, so I'm down with that. So, you want to know about the first time, yes, I said first time, that I slaughtered a cow, all right? So, I currently live in Stockton, California, as some of you may or may not know. But there's a time where I lived like on the outskirts of Stockton in a kind of country area off of Lower Sacramento Road is what we call it. And there's a <clears throat> little ranch out there. I'm not going to name the name because I don't want to get sued by that ranch. But I used to help out around there. So I had a little bit of experience helping out with the farm animals and shit. Mm. So fucking delicious. 
Thank you to Chef Joy. Chef Joy, I love you. You be hooking it up, and I appreciate it. You guys, go subscribe to Chef Joy's channel. She's uh, on my channel's list if you guys want to subscribe to her. It's called It's Me Joyery. But yeah, she hooked up tonight's dinner, so it's so. So anyway, when I was living in the outskirts of Stockton, I helping out with this farm. I kind of was at a weird place in my life. I was kind of young, but I was an adult. I didn't really know what I wanted to do in my life, you know? I'd be out there helping at the farm, helping milk the cows and shit. And I was just kind of like, man, homie, you know, I'm not a white boy. I mean, I'm a quarter white, but what the fuck am I doing with my life, bro? You know, coming from Stockton, we got a lot of gangbanging and shit. So I was just confused. I was just like, man, this ain't hardcore at all, bro. Milking cows, you know? I know there's some, like, <clears throat> corn-fed white boys from, like, the Midwest and shit. And they're hella big, and they could probably throw down and shit with their haymakers. But other than that, doing this farm shit wasn't for me. It wasn't hardcore enough for me. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut another piece of this steak. This is fucking delicious. I'm in, I'm in heaven. All right. So, I was like, this shit ain't hardcore enough. I got to do something to prove myself. Like, fuck. So, I went to my neighborhood gang, and I approached them with the proposition. I was like, look, homies. <clears throat> I got a nice track record of getting into fights. And pulling high notes, pulling broads, whatever. That's what I had to offer you guys. Take it or leave it. They're like, you're a grown-ass man. And you barely want to join us? And I was like, yeah. That's what I want to do. Mm. Before I continue on, let me know in the comments below what your favorite cut of steak is. I'm grubbing on a ribeye. Not the best ribeye. I mean, it's delicious. But it's not like the most marbled, but it's still fucking good. Let me know which kind you like. And let me know if you'd like to see another steak mug man. So I approached these motherfuckers. I let them know what I had to offer. They're like, you're a grown-ass man. But at the same time, we like what you have to offer. But you're going to have to do something for us in order to prove yourself. I was like, okay. Well, just let me know what I have to do. And, you know, I'll sleep on it. You know, pray about it and shit. And see if it's something that I can bring to the table for you guys. So they were like, alright, cool. Here's what you gotta do. Kill a motherfucker. Then you can join us. I was like, alright. Are you speaking hypothetically? Metaphorically? Like, what the fuck? They're like, no. Kill a motherfucker. Murder somebody. And you can join us. So let me know in the comments below if you had to do that before. Um... Go ahead and snitch on yourself in the comments below and let me know what you had to do to join your gang or prove yourself. So they came to me. I mean, I came to them and they came back at me with that. So I was like, oh man, these motherfuckers, man. So I was like, you know what? Give me about a week to train myself up for it. They're like, what do you mean train yourself up for it, bro? You either do it or you don't. You either got the heart to do it or you got the heart not to do it. I was like, well, I'm not going to lie. I don't think I have the heart to do it yet. But give me a week. I got a plan. They're like, all right, what the fuck ever. We just want you to bring all your highness because we know you get plenty to the team. Get back to us. So that Sunday, I like went to church and I was like praying. Like, yeah, you know, what am I going to do with my life, bro? Chill at this farm. Be a hardcore banging ass gangster and shit just by killing the motherfucker. You know, but am I gonna regret it? What am I gonna do? So, I was at work milking one of the fucking cows. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. That was my cat coughing in the background. 
So I'll make you one in the cows. Oh, bless you, by the way. Cats are different. When they cough, you got to tell them bless you. It's different. Like humans, you just let them cough and shit. And when they sneeze, you say bless you. But cats, they're different. You got to say bless you when they cough. If you didn't know that, look it up. It's a well-known fact. So anyways, um, I was at the, you know, I was milking a motherfucking cow at my job. And I was like getting pissed and shit. Like, bro, this ain't going to be my life. I got to kill a motherfucker, you know, just to prove myself. I was like, you know what? This cow kind of pisses me off anyway. So let me go approach my boss and see if I can help out, with, help out with the slaughterhouse. You know what I mean? And kill this motherfucking cow. That way, once I kill something, that I'll have it in me to kill a person. All right? So FBI, if you're watching this, please listen to the end. All right. So. Excuse me. Fucking bomb, homie. Bomb as fuck. So I approached, <clears throat> bless you, I approached the fucking um, slaughterhouse manager and I was like, look, I really want to get involved with slaughter. I need you to let me in. And he was like, um, you don't have any experience? I was like, you got to start somehow. And he was like, have you killed anybody? I was like, what? He was like, no, I'm just joking around. All right, look, you know, you could start off with like chickens and shit. I was like, no, nah, I'm going to go straight to the cow, homie. He's like, why do you want to go straight to the cows? That one you're milking, getting on your nerves? I was like, yes, you hit the nail on the motherfucking head. I hate that motherfucker. So, let's slaughter that bitch. Get it over with. And then I'll even buy the cow, you know what I mean? Like, I'll buy that motherfucker so I can eat it, you know. just I'm sorry if it sounds sadistic and shit. That's just how it went down. Let's get a little bit more bloody, homie. In fucking heaven. Mm. Anyways, she's like, alright. Go to your little training class. We'll get you prepared. So I went to this 14-day training. Yes, it was that fucking long. I had to call the dude from the fucking gang and shit and tell him I'm going on a training trip. But believe me, I'm building myself up to be able to murder a motherfucker. Just know that I'm working toward it. So, went to the training. You know, I told you exactly how to kill it. Like, humanely and shit. So, got done with that. Came back slaughterhouse manager set up for the cow to be slaughtered and I slaughtered my first cow homie all by myself no help and uh I'm not gonna lie as much as I hated that motherfucking cow I felt a little bit bad and shit I think the reason I felt bad is because I knew that hate was in my heart toward that cow like if I would have came at that cow from like a if I would have killed the cow from a like a pure heart like you know what I'm just doing this because I know motherfuckers need to eat you to keep this world going I would have felt a lot better but I, since I had hate in my heart I felt hella bad so <laughs> I'm thinking about it now you know I'm so hardcore now it's funny but anyways anyways I killed the motherfucker and then I was like alright cool you know I guess I'm ready to kill a human I don't know so FBI, if you're watching this, just continue to listen, please. All right. So, um, went back to the block, hit the homie up. I was like, all right, bro, I'm ready. He's like, why are you telling me you're ready? Did you kill anyone yet? And I'm like, no. He's like, then why are you telling me you're ready? I was like, I'm just like, you know, I'm ready to do it, so I'm going to go do it. He's like, all right, well, you should have did it and came back, so you're wasting my time. Go do it. Come back. But hurry up and do it because we're about to close applications this year. I mean, we're going to not let anyone, anyone else in, so just do it. So I kind of had a deadline and shit. So I left. <clears throat> Excuse me. I thought about it deeply. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I was just like, man, bro. I don't know. You know. I don't know if I could if I could do it, bro. Or if I should do it. That shit's illegal. I really thought about it. I gave it a lot of thought. And I made a decision, but I'm not going to exactly tell you what my decision was. Damn. I don't know if that's the FBI pulling up and shit or what, but I made a decision and I had to live with it, but I'm totally fine with my decision and this whole story may have been made up, but I made that decision and, but the thing was, after I made that decision, 
I decided that I'm just cool by myself, you know. I'm cool being my own game. Doing my own thing. So, after that whole experience, I went vegan for like a week. Kind of a weird time, bro. I was eating hella bread and shit, hella vegetables. Hella bloated and shit, but. Came to my senses after that. Started eating meat again. And that's pretty much it. Um. No regrets, bro. It was a weird time in my life and shit. But let me know in the comments below if you've ever slaughtered a cow. Or if you ever worked at a farm or a ranch. What kind of shit you did. Let me know the craziest shit you did in your life. Comment below. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe. The video's not done yet. I'm still fucking eating. Once the story's done. But yeah, you know, you don't got to join a gang to be cool. You don't got to join a gang to be hard. You don't got to kill a motherfucker. Just kill a cow, you know. Get it out of your system and shit. <clears throat> and then let me know, and I'll buy the beef. <clears throat> Just make sure that motherfucker's grass-fed. That's the best shit, you know. <clears throat> Stay to the end, because I'm going to lick this plate. All right. Couple more bites up in this motherfucker. Hell yeah, homie. I even like the knife, you know. I take risks. So let me know your suggestions below. What kind of video you would like to see in the future? Um. Mmm. I appreciate all you guys. Welcome to the Third House World family. Plenty more to come. That's what she said, I don't know. Alright. You're not done until you lift the plate clean, bro. Mmm. Alright. Hell yeah, homies. Thanks for watching. Oh shit, I gotta chug this shit, huh? Got a little bit left. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell next to subscribe if uh, if you used to watch the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Um, hit that like button if you like beef. And um, comment below. All right, I'm gone.